today's car is courtesy of Vidata Honda, the place to be to buy a Honda. Whilst every car company has become the sheep and they're following the baby Jesus called SUV, Honda on the other hand, they have revived the legend, the Civic. This is the mid-cycle facelift of the 10th generation of Civic. The last Civic that we had was 8th generation. Honda have skipped a generation altogether. But boy oh boy, was it worth the wait. And before I take you on the tour of the new Civic, Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to stay notified every time I make a new upload. It really helps my channel. Thank you. When you look at the Civic face on, you'll see that it has got that family grill, the smiling family grill over here with the Honda badge and these very beautiful sphere back LED headlights that look really beautiful. They look like diamonds on a jewelry item. And you've got this bonnet that has these creases that accentuate this part and they push your focus towards the Honda grille over there. And you've got these beautiful chrome surrounds for the LED fog lamps as well. The car side profile is so sexy. It's got these beautiful buttresses over here and you can see the shadow lines, they run all of the length of the car. And you've got this front fender that has these really strong character lines. We've also got some shaping over here and it really gives this car a really strong stance when you're standing right next to it. And at the rear is where the party is. You've got this sloping roof line. It might look like it's a sport bag but actually it's a proper sedan. The boot doesn't open with the window. You've got the shark fin antenna over there and you've got these beautiful boomerang C-shaped LEDs. They are very reminiscent of the Civic badge. You've got one C over there and inverted C over here. It really looks striking and it gives this car's wear a real purpose. The Civic is also very practical. It has 430 litres of boot space, which should be enough to carry a lot of suitcases and it has a really wide opening. It's really easy to just slide your stuff inside. And below this, you've got a full-size spare wheel and you've got your toolkit to change the tires and at the side you can see that it has got Yokohama rubber and of course diamond cut alloys this is the 21st century and you'll be pleased to know that it has disc brakes on all four corners the global trend for SUV is so immense why do you buy an SUV for the ground clearance right the new Honda Civic has 171 mm of ground clearance to put it into perspective the WRV has 180 9 mm what are you going to do with 9 mm of extra ground clearance and unlike a lot of people it's just not all good on the outside it's really nice on the inside as well you'll see that it has got a really nice quality cabin over here it feels like you're in a fighter jet cockpit it's really really very snug and gives you a very sporty feel the driving position is really spot on. You've got a brilliant view outside. The overall perceived quality of the materials used is really nice. The top part of the dash is really squishy with really good soft touch materials. But if you go a bit lower, in the lower sections, you'll find some cheap plastics. But all right, that's acceptable. That's not a very big issue. You've got this very nice finish over here and these aluminum touches here and there that really brighten up the cabin. In the center, you you don't have a manual handbrake, although that's really good for drifting, but come on, it's in there, you don't really drift. You've got an electronic handbrake, which really frees up a lot of space in the center. And you've got an econ button, that's for the economy drive. And you've got brake hold, and if you're in the start-stop traffic, you don't have to, you know, continuously press the uh, brake pedal. The car holds its position for you. And a simple gear lever. You've got a rubberized mat which holds your phone in place when you're cornering hard in this one. And you've also got a very neat wire management system which doesn't let your wires tangle all around. 
the center console is really simple and very intuitive to use you got this touch screen over here that's really good to the touch and very responsive it has apple carplay android auto and all the bells and whistles you need in the 21st century you've got smartphone connection bluetooth usb you name it you have it over here this screen doubles up as a reverse parking camera and you've got guided lines that show you where your car is actually going when you're reversing it you've got three types of views in this you've got one flat view you've got one narrow down angle view and you've got a very square side of roof uh, view if you you know parking at a space which has a kind of a bump or a hole at the back this should be really helpful and uh, apart from that the center console is really nicely fit uh, fitted and the fit and finish is really nice you've got this climate control over here there is nothing displayed as such the climate control doesn't have a dedicated screen although when you reach out to adjust the temperature it's got dual zone climate uh, control you can see the temperature is displayed above and you've got the normal controls they're very easy to use car geeks will notice that even the roof is lined with knitted cloth To light up the cabin, the Civic even has a sunroof, which is really good for the kids, honestly. The steering has controls for the infotainment system as well as the cruise control. Civic always had the best instrument binnacle and this is no different. This is cutting edge, high tech and loaded with features. It shows you every information you need. You really do have to fall into place with this one. The seat is really positioned low and you're sitting at a lower height as compared to the front. And you, once you sat, you'll notice that because of the sloping roof line, the headroom is just about adequate, though there is sufficient leg room. I am 6 foot 3 and by no means am I the yardstick for average Indian consumer, but it has decent space over here. You've got a big central tunnel, although you've got dedicated air vents over here. And over here you do have a center armrest which has cup holders. If you remember the old Civic used to have audio controls over here. That was really nifty and that's a really sad omission from this one. Although the seats are pretty comfortable and you have to remember that this car is all about the front seat. You know what that red pulsating button means. It's time to hit the road. Now this has the same 1.8 IVTEC engine naturally aspirated that it used to have in the old Civic. I'm really surprised that Honda didn't bring the 1.5 litre turbo that it sells internationally. That would have been an absolute blast to drive. Although this car has 140 horsepower, it still feels that it could do with two really good or one really good turbo which would really enhance the performance. Overall, it's a really Beethoven Symphony, it's not hard rock and roll, you don't have any surprises while you're driving it, it's just one linear simple symphony. Honda have still stuck with the CVT, this has a 7 step CVT transmission and it still has a rubber band effect but it is really well contained because now you don't have to deal with turbos, the engine is naturally aspirated so you really don't have those spikes in performance. This is a really smooth transmission but in the day of dual clutch transmissions I would have liked to see a dual clutch transmission on this one as well or a manual stick but Honda doesn't provide you with a manual shifter with the petrol if you have it with diesel and diesel doesn't come with an automatic so there's a mismatch of transmissions over there although I believe the transmission does its job really nicely it's really smooth it's really seamless it doesn't give you jerks but still it has that inherent rubber band effect the steering has the paddle shifters which are really nice if you're cornering hard and you don't want to take your hands off the steering wheel and why would you? It is a really nice leather wrapped steering wheel, it has a really wholesome feel, it's supremely nice to hold and the steering feel in general is really direct, it goes where you want the car to go and it's really pointy. It's not as good as a Civic Type R but oh, come on this is a really family sedan and you don't expect that level of performance from this steering rack. But in this segment compared to Elantra, Camry or for example Corolla Altis, this steering is spot on and it's better than the rest. It has a lane 
watch system in which you can see on the other side there are cameras integrated in the side view mirrors which let you know when an inordinate driver is making a uh, overtake from the wrong lane this the old civic had a really nice suspension the real problem with that one was that it used to scrape its belly just about at any speed bump this one has 171 mm of ground clearance it is at par with most of the baby suvs as they call it and this car really rides very plushly and it has got this really smooth ride quality it's a bit stiff on lower uh, lower speeds but as you pick up the pace the car really irons out every bump every pothole on the road and it has got this 17 inch uh, setup at the uh, tires the yokohama rubber is really nice and this car rides with utmost confidence the old civic day was notorious for the mileage that it used to provide and india started to ask questions like kitna deti hai and it didn't get much so this car has 16 kmpl and the diesel one has around 25 to 26 kmpl as honda said which is really out of this world 2019 honda civic had 5 stars in asian and cap crash rating it has 6 airbags as well as isofix mounts and abs with ebd as standard out of all the cars i've ever reviewed i always stand outside the car and give you my verdict but this car is so blooming good to drive i have to sit inside and give you the verdict what i believe this is the complete package and in around 24 lakh rupees the direct rival to these cars are elantra and corolla altis talking about the suvs it's really i want to take a public initiative of letting the public know that you really don't need an suv when you got sedans that are so capable as this one and now with the diesel engine into perspective this car also delivers on the average front as well i believe that this is a supremely nice car all around it's beautiful to look at it's beautiful to drive it does everything so elegantly and i think honda have really made it worth the wait thank you for watching my video and as always like it subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified every time i make an upload now if you would allow me i need some alone time with this beauty see you later bye bye